Good morning, everybody. It is 12 21 2021. Tuesday morning, a red day. Today, I want to review on the uh, pH indicator. You can see that we have uh, three segments in the band P1 is the top ribbon, P2 is the center ribbon, and P3 is the bottom larger ribbon. These are just three different time segments of planetary hours. So today's a Mars day. So Mars kicks things off this morning here, which is indicated by Mars, the red planet. So it's the color red. Yellow is the sun. Light blue is Venus. Uh, light purple is Mercury. Dark purple is Jupiter. And gray is for Saturn. So in the first... Uh, tr uh, actually, first of all, before I say that, we have uh, every day we have five naturally occurring setups during the market hours. And those are the beginning when the segment changes to the ruling planet of the day, the end of the first P2 segment. So the beginning of the day is going to roll between 717 and about 723. Then the end of that P2 segment is about 8.02. Then the P3 larger segment ends about 10.21, 10.22. Then we have the afternoon segment, and that segment starts around 12.39 today and ends around 12.46. Those are about seven, eight minute windows. And then uh, the last naturally occurring segment of the day is at 13.27. So what we're doing, we're looking for the naturally recurring ruler segments during the main trading session. Okay, so those are our five naturally recurring segments that happen every day. Then we can project the overnight action. We can project highs and lows and look for the same pattern throughout the day to match that pattern looking for a trigger. So what I've done here, I'm going to give you two projections. I'm taking the overnight high and low, the high from 156 a.m. marked by the red arrow here. You can see that that is the light blue P2 segment and the dark purple P1 segment right there. So what we're doing, we're looking for the next same like kind on P1 and P2. And we've got the light blue P2 and the dark purple P1 right here, about the 917 time. So that's our first projection where I've marked this red arrow highlighted by my cursor. Then I'm going to take the overnight low, which happened at about 332. And that's right at the end of the light purple P2 segment with the light blue P1. So I'm going to project that forward and what happens? Well that's coincident. That's right here. Look at P1, P2. That's coincident with the end of the red segment. So that happens at the same time. So we have a little bit of a confluence there tying that together. That's going to be a more likely, a uh, little more significant turning point there at 10 uh, 17, 10, 18 in that area there this morning. Now you can project whatever highs and lows forward that you want. So what I recommend doing, I always want to look for confluence between the indicators. So what I want to do is I want to align my pH times and then I want to look at the rainbow indicators. I, I want to align the rainbow times and then I look to align those inside the key Vedic timing windows. And then you can also take the Cosmodyne extremes and crossovers and align those. Or the blue line from the moon segment on the Astro Excel. Look for the extreme spikes there. Or even the gray line if you're looking at a more fine picture. So what you want to do then, you can align these things and get your more significant trading points during the day in these areas where you have confluence. 
So I'm going to leave that there. That's it for today. We'll be back again tomorrow with another video, and we'll talk to you guys then.